In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Everything seems to come in twos this morning. And you'll notice Father Roy and I uh, are both here. Uh, to two of us setting up. Uh, apologies uh, with two minutes late starting. There's a certain irony in that. Partly because it's quite complicated this morning. Uh, there are two things we celebrate. We come to celebrate uh, St. Richard, co-principal patron of our diocese, hence the diocese investments. We also celebrate the fact that this is the anniversary of the foundation of Guildford Parish. So much to give thanks for in that. There are also two alternatives when it comes to the liturgy. There is the diocesan green book, which offers a set of readings and responses. And there is Universales, which offers an alternative set. So if you're wondering which we are going with the Universales, we should simply have trusted in Nick. He's already loaded the right response onto the system. So an enormous amount for someone uh, to, to focus and reflect on in the homily. You'll be glad to hear there's only one. And I'm glad that it's Father Roy that's giving it. We come to celebrate this great saint. As we come to celebrate this great day, we acknowledge the gifts that God has given us and we pause to ask his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I, I have, have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned. In, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have, I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. This Mass is offered for the intention of Massiono Mendoza, that they may rest in peace. So let us pray. Lord God, who bestowed on the Bishop St. Richard of Chichester a love of learning, a zeal for souls, and a devotion to the poor, in your kindness grant to us, we pray, the assistance of his intercession that we may be led to deeper knowledge and love of your only begotten Son, so that we may follow him more closely, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the ark of the Lord's covenant, to stand in the presence of the Lord, to do him service and in his name to pronounce blessing as they still do today. Levi therefore had no share or inheritance with his brothers the Lord is, in his, is his inheritance, as the Lord your God told him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of, of your, your love, love, O Lord. Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your, truth, ooh, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of, of your, your love, love, O Lord. Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of your, of your love, love, O Lord. Lord. I have found David my servant, 
and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. I will will sing sing forever forever of your love, O Lord. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name his might shall be exalted. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will will sing sing forever forever of your your love, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you into fishers of men. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing all kinds of diseases and sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Richard of Chichester, or Richard de Wick, as he's also known, is a saint I am fond of for a number of reasons. He's a secondary patron of our diocese, which you know. I lived in Wick Road in Chichester during my formative years when at the Lancastrian School there. He was a man who stood up to King Henry III, did Richard, and King Henry retaliated harshly to him. He had a strict rule of life, wearing a hair shirt, having a simple diet, and refusing to eat off silver, if we should get the chance. He was very strict with his wavering clergy and insisted that mass must be conducted with great reverence. Our gospel today bears down on the lack of shepherds to feed the sheep, a position which we find ourselves in today in this particular parish. Richard in his day had no obvious shortage of priests, but many were lax and lazy. So he set about reforming them. But before that, he had to take possession of his diocese. Richard was elected Bishop of Chichester in 1244, but King Henry III had appointed Ralph Neville. And he preferred this man, as did half the cathedral chapter. The Archbishop of Canterbury, at that time Boniface, declared the appointment invalid of the king and named Richard, and this caused uproar in the kingdom. So both sides appealed to the Pope. The king, in the meantime, confiscated the seized properties and all the revenues. But Pope Innocent IV confirmed Richard's election and consecrated him bishop at Lyons in March 1245. Richard was barred from his cathedral and the king forbade anyone to house or feed the new bishop. He stayed with his friend Simon in Tarring, just 20 miles to the east of Chichester, you may know it, just outside Worthing. This went on for two years, until the king was threatened with excommunication. And during this time, Richard visited the whole of his diocese on foot, ministering to the poor, that is, the whole of East and West Sussex. That shows us up for our meagre 10,000 steps a day during Lent, which we clergy undertook. Richard was an earnest preacher, and it was while he was preaching for the Crusades at Dover, as requested by the Pope, that having dedicated St Edmund's Chapel there, he died at a home for poor priests, the Maison Dieu, and he was only 56 and he died at midnight on the 3rd of April, 1253. 
Some of his organs were placed in the altar there while his body was brought back to Chichester Cathedral and it became a great shrine, later to be destroyed in the Reformation. Saints are canonised as examples of being particularly holy men or women and as an example to us living as to the way we should live. And we can be encouraged by Richard's humility of living, his defence of the worship of God, his fearlessness of authority when it is wrong, and on the care of his clergy and people. He's an example especially to the shepherds of the church today. A line I found rather telling in his biography ran, Richard was merciless to usurers, corrupt clergy, and priests who mumbled the mass. But he was also a stickler for clerical privilege. We ask St Richard to pray for us today, for our Bishop Richard, for our diocese, of which he is secondary patron, for our parish as well. Pray for us, Richard, that we may have more priests. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the gifts of your people, May we, who celebrate the love of your Son, revealed in the life of St. Richard, follow his example and grow in love for you and for one another. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For, our, for as on this festival of St. Richard, you bid your church rejoice, 
so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by the words of his preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Richard, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you in their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. And to save his command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ.
Let us pray. Lord, may we who receive this sacrament be inspired by the example of St. Richard. May we learn to proclaim what he believed and to put his teaching into action. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. People in the church will have noticed, you may become aware uh, that Father Roy has left. He's gone, in fact, to celebrate the 11 o'clock Mass at St. Edward's. I mention it lest you think he's being lax or lazy, as St. Richard would have disapproved. Uh, in fact, it's quite the reverse. He's offered to preach twice on a Wednesday so that I can have the morning off. So I'm very grateful uh, to him for that. Do please celebrate uh, today. It is a double hobnob day, though don't eat them off silver. Um, but uh, I think one for St. Richard and one for the fact it is the anniversary of our parish. And we have much to give thanks for. St. Richard, of course, famed for his prayers of thanksgiving. So please uh, do pray uh, this evening at evening prayer. It might be a wonderful day to pray for the diocese. If there are particularly priests who've served here, who you're aware from other parishes, who you want to, to give thanks for. Wonderful day to name them and give thanks this evening alongside our continuing prayers, of course, for, for Father Thomas, for Father David. There's some friends here from Cranley and Bramley. We keep to that community in our prayers during this time uh, of pause uh, for them between priests. There was something else that I was going to mention, and my brain has just gone completely blank. Nope, it's going to stay blank. <laughs> okay. and the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives.